Always here to help with Stephen Conroy. I mean, he's just here to help, all right? You know, to his soul. It's on his business card. And, of course, the carryover champ, as always, on a Wednesday night, is none other than Bronwyn Bishop. So, Bronwyn, can you help me out here? Next 24 hours, interest rates are going to fall in the United States. Why do they fall there, but we're not going to have anything until maybe the middle of next year? Well, a couple of reasons. Um, we didn't put ours up as high as they did, uh, and we have did it over a, a, a lengthier time. But also, you have to realise that our mortgage situation is different. We don't count mortgage repayments in the CPI. Right. But we do count rent. Um, but most of our people here are on variable interest rates. And uh, the people who are on fixed interest rates, it's only for a short term, then they get to go on to variable rates. So there is always a, a versus America where they're on long-term fixed rates. So it really does make a difference to how it impacts on one third of the population and that also impinges on the renters because the cost of uh, housing and mortgages that is then rented out feeds into that as well. Yeah, Stephen, is it also fair to say their uh, inflation rate is lower and their growth rate is higher than we are? So why is America about to see half a point come off but we're being told if that happens there'll be a recession? Why wouldn't there be one in America? Uh, look, it, it is... Mindless. I mean, I, I'm actually in shock that she could make such a ridiculous statement. The only thing currently stopping the country being in recession is government spending into the economy. That is and stopping being in recession. And isn't that a disgraceful recession. statement? Interest rates... Well, it's just an economic fact. I thought we talked about this last week. C plus I plus G. G equals government. <laughs> uh, it's actually part of GDP. Uh, but to the core point... You know, Michelle Bullock told us, you know, 12 months ago the problem was a wage price spiral. It didn't exist. Then it was, you know, we're having too many haircuts and the price of a haircut's going up, uh, which is, you know, not just so absurd it's embarrassing. Uh, and now she's trying to say if we lowered interest rates it would cause a recession. I mean, fair income. Uh, they cannot keep their line straight from week to week because... At its Stephen, core, the Stephen, problem the Reserve Bank how, has how, is its model still that on it the has built is wrong. <laughs> no, I've been arguing this, Bronwyn. Paul will tell you. I've been saying the Reserve Bank got it wrong last year. They went too late. They put them up too far. And now they won't lower them. And they've driven the Stephen, economy to the you, verge you, of a recession. He has been on about the Reserve for the Bank government. for almost as long as I've been on about too little, too late tax cuts. Yeah, but I mean... Stephen's actually um, more aggressive uh, in his dealing with the issue than Mr Chalmers, the snake charmer. You know, it's all illusion, you know. Uh, but, uh, but I've been, but, but I've been doing seriously. it well, when Phil Lowe help. was there. That's why I've he's just here to help. Doing it since Phil Lowe was there. Uh, this, Stephen, the long and the short of it is, <laughs> if you're going to pick between the snake charmer and the, chair and the head of the Reserve Bank... I know most people will go with the head of the Reserve Bank and they will put the blame where it belongs, on the snake charmer, who gets up there and says, I've done a wonderful job. I've given you two surpluses, but I'm giving you 25 years' worth of deficits coming along afterwards. Uh, and we're counting what, what, in what, what, things that yeah, weren't counted courtesy, in before. Courtesy of your last government. No what nonsense. Bronwyn courtesy Bishop, of COVID. Peter Costello... And John Howard want, when they call for government to stop spending, is they want the economy in a recession. So they can quickly flip to say, no, nonsense, we're in a recession, nonsense. it's Labor's fault. To, to try That's and, exactly to try what and your argument Howard actually and Costello happens. And defend what we've got See, now is right a out. joke. They came joke. out. They were the ones who joined the debate. They want the country, like you do, Bronwyn, for the government to stop spending and the economy to go into recession. So what you can rubbish, attack Labor and say, I want, see, you put us I in recession. I want the government to stop spending well, then, then so learn that something about comes economics. Down, then we can have right. the ta Then we can have yes, the reduction. Then the economy goes right. into Let recession. So when we are talking... Coincidence. 